What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I've got something pretty cool to show you guys. Um, it's going to be probably the first kill of the rare spawn uh, level 100 five man, uh, I guess, world boss. His name's Typhon, and he's a giant Hydra, okay? And I didn't even know, like, I, I had no idea this guy existed. And so I'm just doing my, uh, my garrison daily and just fucking around, and I jump over and I'm just, like, you know, looking around, and, like, I see this huge, like, red, like, uh, elite level 100 Hydra. And so I try and solo him. That didn't go too fucking well. It's like, to me, you know what this is like, guys? It's like, if, if like, you go in your backyard, you wake up, you know, it's about 3 p.m. That's, you know, pretty, pretty early, wake up. And uh, you wake up and you look in your backyard, there's a fucking turkey there, okay? And it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to call your friends and you're going to say, listen, there's a turkey in my backyard. Get over here. We're going to kill it, okay? So this is what I did. All the same thing. I got uh, I got Kamiya there. That's a Claire from my guild, and some other boys from Eternal Champions. Which, by the way, um, if you guys are not in Eternal Champions and you are on the beta server, uh, level 100 PVE server, uh, you need to be because all the other guilds suck dick. Okay, Eternal Champions is the best guild on beta because it's my guild, and we do shit all the time like this. And so, like, we got some of my boys here, and we're doing this boss, and we accidentally pulled an extra mob, and that was kind of a miscommunication. So what he does is he show he, like, throws down these little things, and they're the same as, like, Lee Shin. It looks the same as that. And it's like they bounce back and forth also, again, like Lee Shin. So this, this is like a Hydra Lee Shin going on here. And uh, he also does, like, fire. Like, this guy has some really fucking cool mechanics. And he also does those things. You don't want to be in those. So if they don't do any damage, who gives a fuck? But uh, so if you are in them, yeah. Oh, well. But uh, anyway, so I thought the, the bouncing lightning explosion things were cool. Um, I'm glad that they don't do a lot of damage because they're kind of hard to avoid. But um, anyway, so I thought this was really, really cool. Like, I don't know if you guys know this. I've probably said this before. But things like this are, like, my favorite things to do in the entire game. Because it's like, I've never even seen this guy before. It's like the idea. It's like nobody can look it up. You, ca I can't just, like, look up and say, oh, what does this guy drop? And so, like, whenever I kill him... Like, it could be anything. You know, it could be a, a red mount of himself. Like, how fucking badass it wasn't, guys. Don't don't, don't get a big dick, all right? It wasn't. But if it was, like, oh my god, how amazing would that be? And so, like, I don't know, just like the the uh, the adventure, you know what I mean? It's like an, a, the adventure of the game, you know, and I really like that. It's, it's very, very fun, especially to go in here and, you know, like, not know what's going on and, you know, just do all this stuff. And so I was very happy about this. I had a lot of fun doing this, and um. I'm very thankful that I have these people with me who help me do all this stuff because um, I don't know why they do it. I don't know why they put up with me, but they do. And so I'm very thankful for that. Uh, anyway, so this boss does, as I said before, the two, two main mechanics. He also does a bite on your main tank, on your main aggro target, uh, on his main aggro target, excuse me. And uh, it pretty much just does damage. And uh, if you don't... Um, what do you call it? If, if it doesn't fall off before he casts it again, it will do more damage the next time it hits. Very simple mechanic. And so, like, at this point, I was just like, fuck it, I'm just going to stand on these things. It doesn't even matter. And so, as you can see, it don't really do a lot of damage. I tried to solo this guy, as I said before, on my warrior and on my hunter. I got raped both times. And so, anyway, uh... You know, I don't really think you'd be able to solo this guy until you uh, get pretty good. You cannot take, yo, guys, you can't, don't do what I try to do. You can't, can't, you can't take the mutagen uh, buff from Everbloom Wilds. You can't take it and try and kill this guy. Uh, it'll go away as soon as you leave Everbloom Wilds. And so that sucks, but I'm not really surprised that they did that. Uh, he's got a little bit under 5 million health. I don't know if that'll change or not. But uh, again, this is, again, just like one of the really cool things that we did today. And uh, I figured I'd make a video because, you know, I, I, you know, all these people, they came and helped me, you know, Eternal Champions, as I said before, that's all there is to it. That's the only guild, guys. I mean, on beta, that's the only guild, okay? Except for the Chinese guild, like, those guys do stuff all the time, but they wouldn't let me join because I'm not Chinese. Anyway, uh, so, as you can see, we're doing a little screenshot, and that's honestly pretty much it, guys. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool, and uh, it's on the, it's on the, uh, the uppermost, um, I guess, like, uh, shelf behind uh, the Everbloom Wilds, and, um... I think I think I showed it on map. I don't know if I did or not, but uh, either way, that's where it is. It's at the top of War Run, uh, right behind the Everbloom Wilds. And so the, again, this is Typhon, level 100 elite uh, rare spawn boss. So thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.